Hi, good morning and welcome back to the Kristen Amdahl Show. This is episode 1148 and we are here live in Southwest Florida at the beach today. We're at Vanderbilt Beach and uh, there is some red tide here but it's not as bad as it was the last time so well, let's just see how it goes. If you are joining me live, please say hello. Let me know how your weekend was. Let me know what you're crafting today. Let me know if you have questions for me. Let's talk. Uh, I know it takes a few seconds for, pe for people to pop over from pre-chat and notifications, so I will wait to begin um, and just enjoy the view. Hi, Joe. Hi, Chris. Good morning. Happy Monday, everybody. Hi, Tina. Isn't it a nice day at the beach? These colors are fantastic, aren't they? I've been a busy bee. Hi, Judy. K, Judy G, good morning. Hi, Sharon, good morning. Uh, I've been busy catering and I've been busy crocheting and I've got some really cute updates to share with you this morning. I've been working on a dress in the, uh, let's see what yarn, in, in the Hobie Friends Cotton 8.6 in this pretty beige color. I've been working on a dress. I finished the skirt part. Hi, Judy W, hello, G. Hi, Sarah, good morning. If anybody's wondering, I'm wearing the Kelly earrings. This is a crochet pattern on my website. Hi, Wendy. Yeah, it's exciting to be back at the beach, too. I have not sat at the beach like this in, my goodness, certainly not this, <coughs> <coughs> certainly not this year. The, no, red tide is not over. It fluctuates every day. Some days are considered worse than others. And when I checked the uh, status this morning, there's a government website that you can go to and check. Hi, Joan. Uh, it said that it was mild to extreme, depending on where you went. So I thought, well, let's take my chances. I have heard a lot of people coughing down here. I've coughed a tiny bit, but not a lot. Hi, Debbie. Good morning. Yeah, we definitely still have red tide. Hi, Claudia from Chicago. Hi, Alice. Good morning. Okay, who wants to see an update on my beautiful crochet motif dress? I finished the skirt and I'm partially done with the top and I'm making them separately and then joining them together at the end. Hi Anna, good morning. And there's twofold reasons for that. Because they're made separately, if you decided you like the skirt only or the top only or wanted to make them as separates, you could do that as well. I will be joining them and making them one thing, but here is the skirt. Here's the skirt. See how far I need to back up so you can see, see the skirt. All right. Isn't that pretty? So we've got a rather large motif as the main motif. And then if you notice, there are little mini motifs between the large ones. Can you see? So there, there's the big motif and there's one of the little motifs. And so I was trying to decide how to do the top. The top would not be practical for sizing doing in the big motif. So I thought about doing it in double crochet, solid double crochet, because the petals in this could be that. But then I thought, what if I stick stuck with motifs and just use that mini motif for the top? And that's what I did. <laughs> so they're going to really be beautiful together because the fabric of the skirt has components of the fabric in the top. Can you see that? Let me see if I back up a little bit. Kind of hard. I used uh, Friends, uh, Hobie Yarns Friends Cotton 8.6. I showed the ball at the beginning and Judy has shared a link to the yarn as well. Let's see. So the top would go like this. will kind of look like that. Here, we'll do it the other way so you can see the fabric better. So imagine if that was the top, right? You could imagine if that's the top. And then this as the skirt. Can you see how they coordinate really nicely? Because the, the mini motif in the skirt fabric is the component used for the top. So I've been busy. <laughs> I am up, and this is one of the yarns that I bought 20 balls of on discount. Um, they had a special discount if you bought 20 balls of this yarn when I bought it. I'm sure they still do. 
and uh, I thought if I get 20 balls then I'll certainly have enough to make something as big as I want now you know I wanted to make some dresses and I can tell you where I'm at I one two three four five six seven I've worked I've done 13 so far and no, it is not fine gauge. It is number two sport weight yarn. And I used a four millimeter crochet hook or a G6. So nothing too tiny, certainly something manageable. No, it's not gonna be super fast, like something with a super bulky yarn and a 10 millimeter hook, but it is something in the moderate range. You know, doing something super fine weight with really tiny hooks would take an awful lot longer time to do. Um, so I feel like doing a sport weight yarn and a four millimeter hook is kind of somewhere medium range, maybe still on the lighter side, but the thinner side, but really beautiful. I can't wait to finish it. And I think what's gonna be cool about doing this color for the dress is that you can change the style of your outfit by switching up the color that you wear underneath for your, your under layer. So I do like to buy bodycon dresses to wear as slips, and the one that I buy on Amazon comes in tons of colors. Like you saw today, the black underlayer really allows you to see the stitch patterns, the stitch definition so well. So black is an option. Navy is another really pretty option for this color beige or this natural color. Uh, you could also do white underneath. You could also match it and do an off-white cream underneath. I've done uh, dresses before. I did a white dress before. I think it's called the Thalia dress. And I have even done coral and turquoise as underlayers, depending on my outfits, and then changed up my accessories. If you're gonna wear a coral dress underneath uh, a neutral crochet motif, dress maybe you should do coral earrings or something you know depend so you really have lots of different ways you can style it it can be more monochromatic it can be high contrast but I really do like the option of uh, changing up the look that's why I don't line my dresses obviously they need lining if you're gonna wear them as a dress because they have holes but that also gives you the option of wearing them as a beach cover-up where you wouldn't want them to be lined as well so yeah, I like, I think and bodycon dresses are not expensive and they come in so many colors. I feel like they give you a lot more options than slips do. Slips don't, slips just aren't readily available anymore. And they, uh, I think they're very limiting in color palette. They usually come in black and nude and white. And uh, I really like having more options when I do crochet dresses. And if you're gonna knit dresses, same thing. Does anybody have any questions about that? or questions in general. Uh, someone may ask where's the pattern and how many balls does it take? It's not done yet, so I can't answer those questions yet, but you know as soon as I have that information, I will be sharing it with you. Wait to see if there's any questions though. this year it's been so long since we've been here still no questions I'm surprised maybe comments stopped working it seems like there's more activity in the comments than what I see right now and who knows YouTube changes stuff all the time uh, craze vintage water uh, model how difficult is the pattern uh, I would definitely put this in the intermediate category it's not a beginner pattern uh tammy the listing the listing says it is a number two sport yarn sport yarn is sometimes called number two sport is sometimes called fine yarn sometimes yes you know there's so many different <laughs> there's so many different so many different labelings labeling systems for yarn but it is number two sport weight how am i feeling donna wants to know thank you donna i'm okay how are you All right, and once we, uh, if anybody, if nobody has any more questions, who would like to go for a little walk on the beach and see what we can find for a little bit? I'm gonna put my stuff back in the cart. 
hopefully it'll be uh, safe here. I am going to put my shoes on because I'm not sure how safe the sand is. I'm sure it's fine. There's a lot of people walking. Yes, it is a lace dress, Marsha. Okay, we'll turn the camera around. I hit it too many times and I'll put my shoes on just to be safe and okay should we go right or should we go left I think I want to go right today yeah let's go right let's we'll get around the kids have a good trip Joe yes I still have Dolly did you see her when I was adjusting? You'll see her when we go back, if you didn't see her when I was adjusting the camera. Oh, you know what? I left my keys back there. I don't want to leave my keys. I'm okay if anything else gets stolen except my keys. So let's go back and grab them. I keep them on a lanyard so I can just throw it over my neck. See, there's Dolly. Okay. Remember, I still have my towel too. Okay, grab the keys, we're good now. These colors are so pretty today. As you can see, the fronts of the buildings are all under construction still. See all the construction fencing? That first floor was demolished on all of these buildings. And so they're all under construction. Uh, yes, Debbie, it would make a great vacation dress, absolutely. Great summer dress, great beach cover-up. You know, and you could even make it shorter. If you noticed, my skirt is three motifs long. You could make it two motifs long and make it a shorter dress also. You know I love long dresses, but there are lots of options. Hi, Svetlana. Florida's trying to come back, that's for sure. Hi, Carrie. My favorite restaurant is here at the Vanderbilt Beach Resort. It's called the Turtle Club. And as you can see, they are not reopened yet. Thank you, Angelina. I'm really excited about the dress too. I have lots of ideas for other dresses also. I'm very inspired to keep going in this route right now. And you know me, if I'm feeling inspired, I keep going. Still want to work on some home deck things for the RV too, but really focused on dresses right now. Yes, isn't it a beautiful view? It's so incredible. Look at, there's people back in the water too. I'm not ready to experiment with the water yet, but that's okay. Hi, Marlene. <coughs> Excuse 
excuse me. Just a little bit of red tide bothering me. Not bad, just a little. Ah, oh, Angelina's from Florida, but lives in Spain now. That's so cool. Oh, I don't know how the water affects your skin with red tide. I know red tide affects allergies and respiratory issues. It's more the flesh-eating bacteria that I'm concerned about from the leftover of the hurricane. And although lots of people are back in the water, I'm assuming that subsided, but not exactly something I want to take a chance with either. So I just assume wait. <coughs> High furious flow. All right, I'm gonna turn around. I'm walking into the wind wind and I think it's making my me cough a little more. Hi Lois. That's great. She's making the Iona shawl. Oh, I just saw a crab. Don't know if he's alive. He's probably not alive. But we saw some oh it's the red tide. The red tide kills the kills the animals. There's a lot of dead fish at the uh, beach too. So for those of you that don't know, red tide is a naturally occurring bloom of red algae out in the water. It's been going on since the beginning of it being recorded over a hundred years ago. It's something that happens here occasionally. And sometimes it's bad and sometimes it's not bad. And it's only for a portion of the year. Yeah, it's, it's very sad that it kills the animals, yes. There's a lot more information about it online if anybody wants to research it. Yeah, I don't know if you would eat the food, eat seafood from Red Tide either. I don't think so. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Lois. That's why I wanted to share it. I don't see any birds here right now. <laughs> Donna, yeah, I would love to be a tour guide. I would know all the trivia and all the history. <laughs> I would be, I would really enjoy being a tour guide. You're right. <laughs> You're welcome, Marsha. Yes, they do, Sharon. Excuse me.
right, we're back to Dolly. So I will turn the camera around and uh, put it back in the tripod. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend a few minutes here with me. I hope you enjoyed the update on my dress and the vision that I have behind the scenes of why I want to create them separately so that you have options when you make the dress that you could either make the skirt, the top, or adjust things and modify things to make either different things or make just modify it in general, whether you want to make the skirt shorter or longer sleeves longer so there's a lot of thought that's been put into the design of it to make sure that you have lots of options and a better value in a pattern you know you could make a top a skirt and a dress out of it and you can make a short skirt and a long skirt short dress and a long dress these are uh, fun options and even just learning the motifs to make any type of a fabric means you don't have to work it in the round you could make a flat fabric like a shawl or an afghan or anything else as well so you know me i like to make sure that you have options Thanks again. I uh, appreciate you joining me. I appreciate all the questions. I hope you enjoyed the show and tell. And also our little walk on the beach. It's our first one in a very long time and hopefully not our last. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.